What if I told you there was a material with the ability to short out a lightsaber? Also, it had the ability to absorb the energy of a blaster. And just on top of all of that, it was also able to redirect explosions when there was a large enough quantity of it. May I introduce you to the one, the only, Cortosis. This material had the potential to be the most desired material in the galaxy, and not just desired by one faction, but desired by every faction, from the Republic, to the Separatists, to the Empire, and even the Huts. I should think that you Jedi would have more respect for the difference between knowledge and <laughs> wisdom. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Lore Academy. I'm your lore guide and professor today, Dr. John, here to guide you on all of your Star Wars lore needs. Now, today, as you know, we're talking about Cortosis, and let's get right into it. In canon, Cortosis was found on the planets Dinzo and Mokij. While these planets were not found in the same part of the galaxy, it is important to note that both had desert climates as one of their major biomes. Now, at the current moment, there's no indication for that being a factor for Cortosis to be created, but it's something to keep in mind because it might lead to future planets who also have Cortosis on them, even if it's in just small amounts. Now, regardless, you probably care more about the material and the properties of itself rather than how it's created by a planet. Well, to start, Cortosis itself was extremely fragile and could not be used as an armor set or for a sword on its own. It would simply break due to how fragile it was if somebody tried doing this. Also, due to the rarity of Cortosis, even if you could make an armor set out of it, it would be probably more rare than seeing a full set of Mandalorian armor from Beskar, which that's already rare enough on its own. I mean, just watch the Mandalorian, for example. So extremely rare. Now, that being said, Cortosis can be made into fibers and weaved into armor. This would allow this new set of armor to have the same benefits of Cortosis while still being an actual bearable piece of armor or a durable piece of armor that wouldn't just break apart by you just putting it on. And let me be very clear. The armor made from Cortosis would essentially make the wearer invulnerable to standard blaster and lightsaber attacks. Yes. You heard that right, invulnerable. In the case of a blaster, the armor was able to dissipate the energy of the blaster bolt throughout the entire set of armor and therefore making the blaster basically useless. When it came to a lightsaber, the armor was able to just short circuit the lightsaber. It did this by reflecting the energy of the lightsaber back into itself and it would cause it to shut down. I mean, that's extremely impressive from just one material. And finally, Cortosis was also able to redirect explosions, especially when it was in large amounts. And since it can redirect energy, it may have also been able to protect a user from explosions. Now, I don't think it would protect you from the blast of an explosion in terms of how far you might get sent back, but in terms of any effect that the explosion would have on you internally, it could probably redirect a lot of that back into the explosion or back towards the enemy. So really, Cortosis was incredibly strong when it was used on armor and beyond just armor at least in legends we also see cortosis used to create a sword a sword which you could duel a lightsaber user with and probably win or at the least get the upper hand i mean if you don't have access to the force that's a downside but if you can disable their lightsaber even if it's just temporarily that's enough to maybe get a strike in or get a sniper whatever you can kill a jedi with cortosis so it's incredibly incredibly powerful now there is one major downside to cortosis because at the end of the day nothing is perfect and cortosis is no exception and this being that a sustained energy attack on cortosis it would not be able to handle that for example we look into the book thrawn alliances where in at least in canon is the most amount of information we have on cortosis period we see thrawn use a lightning gun to defeat enemies using the Cortosis armor. While it's not exactly described in the book, I would assume that the lightning gun is something similar to the weapon like the Dreaver Corporation's Plasma Disruptor, or what it's also known as the DM Bolt Caster, which is primarily seen in the classic Star Wars Battlefront game used by the pilot class. 
I assume this because this same gun sort of shoots out lightning out the front and I would think that it's something similar to this or maybe something like a T7 ion disruptor that you see throughout like Star Wars Rebels and things like that something along that line but I would assume that anything with a sustained energy would be very effective to use against Cortosis but it's hard to say because you know as we see it can disable a lightsaber and so it goes back and forth anyways the final information I want to leave with you on Cortosis is about a plot which it was involved in. This being the Cortosis factory on the planet Mokich, found during the late stages of the Clone Wars. On the planet, there was a secret separatist factory run by Duke Solha, a native Serenian. At this factory, not only were there B2 battle droids being made with Cortosis armor, but clone armor with Cortosis was also being made. The clone armor was completely identical to regular clone armor, and most likely could have been used to blend in among regular clones. At the time of discovery, Anakin Skywalker assumed that the Separatists planned to use the armor to easily sneak behind Republic lines and perform a surprise attack on them, or maybe even an assassination attempt. While that was a good idea at the time, given the information he had, more likely it was going to be used as armor for Order 66, similar to the Zillow Beast and its potential armor that it was going to make. Because at the end of the day, Palpatine was always going to invest into anything which he could use to achieve his one goal, which was to kill the Jedi. See, because Palpatine, he invested into everything. And I think that that's something that makes his character even richer and more important is because it was showing that he had backup plans on backup plans just in case his original plan didn't work out. In fact, that I'm kind of of the belief right now that Palpatine originally planned for the clones to have some type of Cortosis armor when Order 66 was going to be activated and that this just changed due to the timing of events but that's just my idea if you want me to make a video on that maybe I will but anyways that's it for Cortosis everyone if you liked the video let me know down below if you didn't like it or you thought my facts might have been wrong also let me know so as always have a great day and may the force be with you always